just that kind of day. All right. It's kind of dark. That's better-ish. Okay. Well, today, well, first of all, let's start off with this. I don't know, I ate some pizza, and uh, now my stomach feels kind of weird. I mean, I, I put some crushed red peppers on there? I don't know. The point of today's video is to give you guys uh, more backstory on like, you know, who I am as a person. Uh, a lot of people specifically, you know, would like to know what, uh, how to get in a wheelchair. So, backstory to the backstory, to the backstory. Um, yeah, growing up, I wasn't super duper athletic. Uh, I did like sports, but I was always just ass at them. I was always like one of the slowest people. I had like no coordination. And then puberty happened. Uh, but I remember like seventh grade specifically being like, oh wow, I, I don't suck as much. And so I started working out and uh, you know, I was getting faster, getting stronger. And I was looking up articles on how to run faster. And I found an article on how to do a wall run. And that's exactly what it sounds like. You know, it's a dude running on a wall. Uh, but for me, I was like, is it? Is that what it is? And then I pulled it up and this, I want to say his name was like Matt Matthews or something like that from uh, Texas Parkour. Guys, forever ago. And so, um, yeah, the summer before eighth grade, I got into parkour, and that was like my whole life until I had my accident, which um, basically the easiest way to explain it is uh, I was doing a castaway, which is a move I will probably put a clip of right here because it's really kind of hard to explain with words. Um, but if you see, you know, when you're, you're doing the backflip, you know, your feet get kind of close to the bar. And what happened was, is that my feet hit the bar. So I was like doing the backflip and kind of just like stopped halfway and just sort of like fell on my head and bounced off and landed on my back. And because I was still curled up in a ball, my like spine, you know, as everyone's does, is kind of like sticks out when you're like curled over. So one of my vertebrae dislocated, it like just like slid to the side or forward, backwards, either way. Um, and I like shattered two other vertebrae, I think it was the ones like just below that. And my spinal cord got, uh, my spinal cord got swollen and bruised. And the swelling and bruising has since gone down and gone away. Um, but the way the spinal cord heals itself, you know, if it doesn't heal itself fast enough, it doesn't heal all the way. So that's how I got in the chair, but how did I get in the wrap? That's, uh interesting I guess uh, first off when I was doing rehab um, you know I was in McGee Rehab Hospital in Philly so Philly's really a second home to me now um, you know hip-hop really was there for me like it's and I had started listening to hip-hop before that but once I was there and you know I really was like listening to the poetry and the words and that stuff like that it just really, really helped me through the whole experience. And, you know, I, I basically like to say that, you know, hip hop, you know, sort of saved my life because, you know, all kinds of crazy thoughts go through your brain uh, when your life literally basically kind of ends. So, uh, and funny enough, right before my accident happened, uh, it happened on a Saturday, the Tuesday before, I had a dream that the same thing was gonna happen at the same place. Then why did you do it? Because I wasn't thinking of the dream at the time. Uh, of course, I remembered it afterwards. And also the Wednesday before that, my friend, uh, Matt DeServo, shout out to Matt. Uh, he asked me, he was like, you know, what would you do if like you couldn't do parkour anymore? And I was like, my life would be over. And my life as it was, was definitely over and I had to start a new chapter, uh, which is eventually why I started going by CJ in college. Uh, you know, I felt like a new person and it was a new chapter and there was also a lot of Johns in, in, in college. So I jokingly was like, ah, oh, call me Cripple John or CJ for short. And no pun intended, everyone just kind of ran with it. So, you know, um, back to rapping though, 
uh, after I came home from rehab, um, this was my senior year of high school now. Um, I was I was just in the shower uh, listening to, I don't even remember what I was listening to, and I got inspired in some way, like someone says something that sparked an idea in my head that led to a thing that led to a thing, and, and um, and I was like, oh, like I gotta write those bars down. You know, some, some stuff came to my head, and so I was like, oh, I gotta write that down. And next thing I knew, I had like a whole verse down. And, um, you know, kind of shortly after that, I, I went through and actually like wrote a song. Yeah, you know, once I had like had it down and memorized and stuff like that, I showed it to my friend Brian Flanagan at, um, at lunch. And I've told Brian this story before, because before I told him, he didn't really like know that he did this but brian uh and shout out to brian again thank you for this um he really started the ball rolling because he's definitely the type of person like if i was ass he would be like don't like don't just stop um but after i showed him the song he was like wow that actually wasn't bad and that doesn't sound like the best compliment in the world but when you've never written the song and you've never even rapped before and someone gives even semi positive encouragement that's that's all I needed to be like fuck like if I really put time into this like it could actually maybe go somewhere and you know as, as I grew up I realized I really wanted to make a difference in the world and thankfully music gives me a great opportunity to do that because uh, you know it's so universal music really touches a lot of people um, but also with this vlog series, you know, I want to inspire people. I want to tell my story um, and just make the world a better place and, and build that community. So, yeah, this has sort of been uh, a background on sort of how-ish I got to where I am today. Um, obviously, life is very complicated. I've been through a whole lot of shit that I'll, I'll definitely talk to you guys about. Uh, and I, I like opening up in the hopes that, that you guys will open up and, and tell me your stories and, you know, maybe you feel alone in something and, and now you feel less alone or, or something or whatever, so, yeah, yeah, all that good stuff. So, thank you so much for your time, as always, if you'd like to donate to my Patreon, the link is down in the description, uh, if you want to follow me on any social, hey, the lighting's better now. Now that the video's over. So my phone died as I was doing the outro. Uh, so I'm just gonna do it again. Fuck it. Um, if you wanna donate, because that'd be the shit. The, our, our first goal for this month is for me to just pay the bills so I can do this full time. You can go to my Patreon. It'll be the first link in the description. If you wanna follow me on any social media, That'll also be in the description. And just thank you so much for your time. Anyone who's been rocking out with me since before I started this vlog, y'all know it's been like five years in the making. So thank you for sticking with me. And uh, you know, we're, uh, we're gonna do this one day at a time. So yeah, thanks guys, peace. I live for, you already know what I've been on.